whatever is happening, look! Hey everybody, this is Practice Prepper, and in this video I'm doing something a little bit different than I usually do for my channel, and that is a gear review. Uh, if you guys watch my channel at all, you know that I'm not really a gear review channel. Sometimes I'll do, a, you know, a gear review on something that I've been using that I think works really great, because, you know, there's a lot of garbage out there when you find something good. It's nice to share that with other people, but that's not my mainstay. I don't do that much of that. You know, I, I think it's always great when you can, like, you know, take sticks and dirt and rocks and make your own solutions to problems and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm not a big, like, you know, buy your way out of trouble kind of guy. But again, when you find something good, you want to share that with people. But this gear review is a little bit different than ones I've done in the past because this gear, okay, I'm just going to say it. Somebody paid me to do a gear review. They paid me like 150 bucks or something like that uh, to review their their pest deterrent. Oh, hey. Amber. No, it's cool. It's cool. I'm just doing the the, uh, the rodent thing. Amber's bringing up Pugnox for the morning. That's, that's her thing in the morning. She brings up, actually, usually I bring up Pugnox. She usually does it at the end of the day. Pugnox was laying down. Did he pee on your stuff? Huh? Did he pee on your stuff? Pugnox, our dog Pugnox, he's got this thing where he gets excited and he rolls on his back and he pisses all over himself. It's a delightful trait, really. Yeah. Anyway, so hey, yes, somebody paid me to review this ultrasonic pest deterrent device. And the reason that I agreed to do it uh, was because I've used things like that in the past. In fact, I've done a gear review for this one, which is an ultrasonic uh, pest deterrent device, which I had... Um, you know, bought myself because I had a, a, you know, a mouse, chipmunk, rat problem in my greenhouse. And this one worked pretty well. Uh, and this one cost about $50. I did a positive review on it. And, you know, lots of people have seen it. And I've shared my thoughts at this particular one, the T3R, triple high impact, whatever. Um, here's a link to that, that review if you want to check that out. Uh, this one worked really well until I got a deaf rat that apparently couldn't hear it and like I had to catch the rat. <laughs> but it worked for everything else. So I was thinking that I wouldn't mind doing a review on a similar product because this is way less money. Like I said, this thing here was like 50 bucks. You get one unit. And these are, they come in a little box and there are four of them in here for somewhere between 20 and $30. So for about half the price, you get four times as many units. So I was thinking, well, I did a review for the other one. I certainly don't mind you guys paying me to check this one out and see if it works. So I tested it out in the greenhouse because I unplugged this thing for a while. I wasn't using it and I had some more mice come in. So I, uh, I ran a test with these guys and they worked just as good as this other one over here, which doesn't mean that they were perfect, but neither was this one. Uh, they, they perform just as well as the, you know, much more expensive one, and, and I felt that they, they worked pretty well. In fact, uh, in addition to scaring away the mice and, you know, the chipmunks really didn't seem to respond that much to it, but the chipmunks didn't really seem to respond that much to this guy either. I really had to kind of just trap those. But the, both of these things really scared away the mice. They did a pretty good job on the mice, and with these smaller ones, the less expensive ones, this, I can't say that this is absolute scientific certainty but with these every single year I've always had an ant problem in my house and I should I should preface this by saying these are principally sold for mice that's what the people said they said that you know I'd like you to review it for mice you know it has some other benefits in fact on the side here they have a picture of cockroaches and ants and ticks and, and mice and flies and all these other things but they were they were saying you know these are sort of like extra sort of benefits that you may experience, but, you know, they don't necessarily guarantee those. But for me, every single year, we get this yearly assault of ants into our house. And while I have these plugged in, this is the only year in the past at least decade that we have not had an assault of ants in our house. Now, you know, you, it's, it's, it's only one data point, you know, it's, it, you know, you'd have to run it multiple years and then like stop using them and see if the ants come back and everything like that. But I, I feel pretty certain that these had a lot to do with the fact that we did not have a, a major ant invasion. In fact, last year was so horrible with the, there were all these queen ants coming in. There must have been at least a hundred, maybe two hundred queen ants. You know, if you if you ever squish queen ants, it's like there's a lot of juice there. It's just kind of gross. Last year was a really gross year, and this year we had pretty much no ants. A few scouts here and there, but that was it. And I kind of credit these things. So uh, this is the pest venator or pest venator. Indoor ultrasonic pest, uh, 
pest propeller? I think they mean rep repeller. I don't know. Do they mean that on purpose? Pepeller? <laughs> I don't know. But I, I'll, I'll put the, uh, a link to it in the, in the description below. It worked really well for us. So if you're looking for something like that, and you've seen my other gear review for this, and you'd like to try something that's half the price and you get four times as many of them, then uh, I would highly recommend these. And you may even get rid of an ant problem if, uh, if you're experiencing that as well. I should give you guys an idea about how I set up these units uh, to get them to work in the way that they did for me. This area over here is kind of the main area of my greenhouse, and this is where I was having the problem with the rodents coming in. My gray water comes out of the house here, it flows through this area down over to here, and every time a rodent was digging up the path, and they like to do that because, you know, there's food and stuff that comes out of the kitchen sink, Every time a rodent was digging up that path, it made it so that the flow didn't, didn't move properly. They would dig tunnels under there and the water would go underground. It wouldn't get to all the plants. It was just really fouling up the way that this area worked. So I wanted to blanket this area in sounds from these units. So what I did is I put one unit at the end of, of each end of this place. And it was easy to do that because I had four of them that came in the pack. One of them is right here. I, because they're so small, I was able to just dangle it from an extension cord here. I had one unit right here, just blasting in this direction. And then the other one, I brought over here and ran into this outlet right here uh, on the wall. So from one end you were getting it, and from the other end you were getting it. And it really seemed to be effective. Uh, if you guys watch my channel a lot, you know that oftentimes I'll shoot videos out here because it's just it's really nice light and it's kind of pretty with the greenery and all that kind of stuff. And uh, one time, a couple days after I had turned these units on, I could see one of the mice like fleeing. <laughs> it was like obviously agitated, you know, you know running its way out. I'm, and, uh, you know, it definitely was having the impact that I was looking for. So they definitely seemed to work by having them on either end of the space that I was shooting for. After that, I've also had some issues with uh, mice and things like that up under the roof. Um, I'm working on making another home right now, and I'm going to address that, that access issue of rodents getting up under the roof in that home, but this one still suffers from it. So what I did was I took a couple of units, I had two more left because there were four of them, and I stuck them up here. Again, because they're so small, they're easy to stick up in here, and I just had the unit on the end of an extension cord right underneath this kind of roof overhang thing. There's a metal roof up there, and I had them blasting up under the roof, just kind of having it reverberate under that whole area, and it really seemed to uh, to clear the roof out. I had one on one end, one on the other end, and uh, I noticed that, uh, you know, I, I wasn't hearing the the, uh, the mice running around in the roof after that. I, I subsequently turned them off, and then started hearing the mice come back. So they were definitely having that kind of a positive impact to clear out that, that space, and it was nice because they're so small that you can kind of stick them up in different areas. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm not going to make a huge habit of doing this kind of stuff, but you know, if someone wants to pay me to review a product and I can make a snappy, fun opening and you know, share something that's useful with you guys, I will do that. And uh, it, you're always going to get my honest opinion. That's I, I'm, I'm negotiating a headlamp one right now with someone, and that's like the first thing out of the gate all the time is like, you guys have to understand, you know, you're not buying a good reviews. You know, you, you, you buy my time, and if I like it, I will share a video, and if not, I'm going to let you guys know. But you know. I'm not, I'm not into being a corporate shill, so, you know, <laughs> that's it. Thanks for watching. Now if I could only find something that would stop him from digging. <laughs>